this video we'll be testing how sharp a Japanese sword is. This one happens to be made by me and is a 128 layer Damascus steel. It's been sharpened using traditional Japanese water stones going up to 2000 grit and is capable of shaving hair off your arm. Now to begin the test, I open a beer can as seen with some trouble. Good thing I have one prepared. Although you've seen the sword case and the beer cans are both by PBR, this is not a sponsorship, I just enjoy the beer. Now we get a graduated cylinder, our prepared can with some duct tape on it, and regular sticky notes. Now the sticky note is affixed to the top of the beer can, as can be seen. This is going to act as the cutting medium for the sword. Water will then be added to the beer can using the graduated cylinder to add weight. Now we see how much the beer can weighs empty, just for a general refer reference, about 14 grams. Now we're going to move it over to the sword here and see how the paper cuts as our water is added. The can balances perfectly fine when completely empty with the paper resting right on the edge of the sword and a small indent is made. Now water is added 10 milliliters at a time which is 10 grams and after the first addition, there is little noticeable effect. I'll skip the rest since it is a little bit tedious. Now on the last addition of about 10 milliliters of water, the paper begins to finally cut. However, I did manage to get the paper a little wet while pouring, so I had to switch out a new piece. Now, as you can see, the paper is just barely cutting, meaning that I've reached the weight at which uh, can be used as a new standard for how paper cuts. Now, weighing the can after, I can see it is about 49, almost 50 grams of weight that it took to slice the paper in half on the katana edge. And these are just regular post-it notes. Now I hope to do future tests where I test other objects such as shaving razors, scalpels, etc. using a similar method to get a comparison for exactly how sharp a sword is compared to these other objects. I'll post link to, links to these videos at the end here. And here's just what the rest of you guys came to see is cool visuals of the sword itself. You can see a nice quench line on there and all the Damascus layers, which consist of 1084 carbon steel and 15 and 20 nickel steel. The handle, of course, is duct tape, as seen in one of my previous videos, and a copper inlay. Thanks again for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you're interested. Have a good one.